WWE fans are still buzzing about who is the person behind the cryptic white rabbit vignettes and cryptic online videos teasing us about a possible return to the company. Well, ahead of tonight's edition of Friday Night Smackdown, we have a new teaser with new clues, new information, and possibly the identity being revealed. Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestling News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in WWE. And the biggest news story in WWE right now is indeed the White Rabbit. The cryptic vignettes, the QR codes, the music playing between commercial breaks, the red lights, the confusion, the discussion. Who is the White Rabbit? Who is the person behind all of these cryptic vignettes? Well, we were waiting for SmackDown tonight, weren't we? After Monday night's QR codes and Game of Hangman that told us to... Tune in to SmackDown tonight, 9.23 at 9.23. We would find out more. Wow, we've got the information a little bit early here because we have a new teaser with new information, new clues, and new teases about who indeed is the White Rabbit. So let's get straight into this right away. WWE has shared a new White Rabbit tease, potentially revealing the date of an upcoming WWE return. In the latest tease, WWE.com shared an interactive game featuring everyone's favorite mammal. Upon completing the game, the White Rabbit hops over to some latitude and longitude coordinates. Now, I'm going to stop it right there because I'm going to get, actually get into step by step what happens in this game. The same that we did it on Monday or Tuesday when we spoke about the previous game of Hangman, how we got there, what it all means. We're going to go through this step by step and try and analyze what these clues mean. So let's get straight into this. First of all, you get greeted with the main screen. And this is the same main screen we got on Monday Night Raw when you scan the QR code. It's kind of the menu you as it were before you play the game i <laughs> play the game um in the same way that you get this main menu you get it in this teaser here so obviously on monday we got this main menu then we went into the game of hangman so you get the same main menu but this time instead of a game of hangman it's kind of a game of pac-man kind of game instead of it being hangman it's kind of a throwback to the arcade games and the objective seemingly is to get the white rabbit to the door avoiding the flames in the process now obviously there is so much clues you could take from this especially when it comes to the fiend right the fiend was burnt alive by randy orton at tlc in 2020 his final match at wrestlemania he actually got resurrected didn't he because at fast lane the month before he climbed up out of the ring he was scarred up he was burnt up and right before his match against randy orton bray wyatt's final match in wwe he transformed he shed his burnt skin and transformed into the fiend once again so you could argue the objective of the White Rabbit is very linked to the Fiend here because you have to avoid the fire, which the Fiend is widely associated with fire, the Firefly Inferno match, and you have to get to the door. And what do you do when you get to a door? You have to let him in, which of course is a signature phrase of the Fiend. So what happens when the White Rabbit gets to the door? Well, you can see right there, the door opens and what happens when the White Rabbit goes through the door? Well, once the White Rabbit goes through the door, it says Cole and it also shows some coordinates, as I mentioned, some latitude and longitude coordinates. Now you might say, well, what does that all mean? Where are those coordinates? What place do, do those coordinates represent? What building, what area, what do they mean? Well, if if you type it in on the internet, if you go to some latitude and longitude coordinates, if you go to some GPS coordinates, you will see it actually is for an arena called Rogers Place, which is in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Now, you would say Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, a random arena in Canada. What has that got to do with the White Rabbit? Well, I'll tell you exactly what that has to do with the White Rabbit, because Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, just so happens to be the site of Monday Night Raw. This coming Monday, September. 22nd Monday Night Raw will emanate from Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So the latest tease, the latest cryptic video from the White Rabbit in the same way that Monday it told us to go to SmackDown for the latest clue is now pushing us to Monday once again to Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. That is the latest tease from the White Rabbit. As I mentioned, it's been heavily speculated that these White Rabbit teases are indeed hyping the return of Bray Wyatt, who was released from his WWE contract in July 2021. It has been pointed out that as of the recording right now, White Rabbit, searching White Rabbit on WWE.com, 
takes you to an article about Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse match against John Cena at WrestleMania 36. It's worth noting that the words White and Rabbit appear separately in the article, with the article mentioning Rambling Rabbit and John Cena's black and white NWO shirt. It's also been noted that if you search the recent 923 tees on WWE.com, one of the top results will be a clip of The Fiend attacking Braun Strowman on September 23rd, 2019, an edition of Monday Night Raw. Now, it had previously been speculated that the 923 tease meant that we were going to get a White Rabbit reveal on the September 23rd edition of SmackDown two nights. However, it must be said, and this is kind of the direction I thought we might be going in, is that we're not going to get a reveal tonight. We're just going to get the latest chapter. We're just going to get the latest tease. I did say that previously that... It felt like, why would they have Bray Wyatt return, or The Fiend return, arguably the biggest return out of all of the people that have returned recently, Braun Strowman, Dexter Loomis, Dakota Kai, Johnny Gargano, all big names, but Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, he's the biggest out of all of them. Former WWE champion, former Universal champion, massive merchandise mover with The Fiend character. Would you really have him just return on a random episode of SmackDown, or would you save it? to Extreme Rules? Would you save it until Crown Jewel? Would you save it until Survivor Series? Would you save it for when the world truly is watching? And would you continue to build this up throughout the remaining weeks prior to those events? Because remember, this hasn't even touched television at this point. This has just been during commercial breaks for Raw and SmackDown. This has just been QR codes. This has just been during live events. This is now just on the internet. They have not referenced this on television at all. Now, it must be said, WWE is starting to ramp things up a bit. WWE's a BT Sport account, or BT Sport covering WWE, has referenced the White Rabbit. And now, WWE has also put up White Rabbit-related merch on their official WWE Shop website, having a picture, a t-shirt with a picture of the White Rabbit, also having indeed that game of Hangman that we saw this past Monday night uh, on Raw with the Who Killed the World You Did uh, merchandise now appearing. So... That's the latest tease when it comes to the White Rabbit. Now, chances are, again, this has been released early, so chances are there'll be a similar kind of QR code probably appearing tonight on SmackDown. There'll probably be some kind of background thing that we kind of saw on Raw Monday. Chances are, once again, during the commercial break of SmackDown, we'll see the White Rabbit play and the arena go dark and eventually go red, once again signifying that the White Rabbit is indeed on his way to WWE. But I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect to see the Fiend Bray Wyatt on SmackDown tonight, as I've mentioned. I feel they're building to something, and I don't think they're going to blow it too quickly. We've seen the anticipation build already after not even a week. Today marks a week of the first time we heard the White Rabbit play during the commercial break. Imagine what two, three, four, five weeks of this could do. By the time the time is right, this could be massive. It's already huge for WWE. We will see more and more cryptic teases. We've already seen the latest, and it's pointing us to Raw on Monday in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada at Rogers Place. And the clues will continue, and I'm sure we'll hear more. We also saw that Bray Wyatt actually himself has liked an old Brody Lee tweet. He said uh, in the tweet, the late Brody Lee uh, tweeted, quote, tomorrow there will be more of us. And sometime last night, Bray Wyatt actually liked that tweet from April 2019. Again, people read into that saying, oh, does that mean he's going to appear on SmackDown tonight? Chances are that isn't going to be the case. But several fans have also spotted several possible Easter eggs on the poster for the upcoming Extreme Rules premium live event that seem like references to Wyatt's. Paul Triple H Levesque, as I mentioned, even teased the possibility of Wyatt's return uh, in a recent interview with Ariel Hawani. Those Easter eggs on that Extreme Rules po poster, a lot of people are saying that behind, I believe it's maybe Seth Rollins, you can see Bray Wyatt's old lantern. And it is an odd place for that just to randomly be there, it must be said. But we're seeing these teasers now. We're seeing these clues. If you go back to watch Raw as well, there were just random crows <laughs> in the background. And basically everything you see now going forward on WWE television is not a coincidence. Everything could be related. That might sound like a state of paranoia for me, but I've got white, white rabbit fever. Easy for me to say. Because after I've seen this latest teaser, I'm very confident we're not going to see Bray Wyatt on SmackDown tonight. But I'm very confident that someone's coming. And especially when I look at that game, that game of sort of Pac-Man with the references to let him in to the fire, that's all references to The Fiend. 
and it feels like The Fiend is indeed on his way back to WWE, which is very exciting. And as I mentioned, I love, I love this kind of stuff. I love cryptic stuff. I love teasers. I love whodunits. I love a mystery. And this is a mystery we're all trying to figure out right, right now. So let me know your thoughts on the latest White Rabbit teaser in the comment section below. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right hand corner, and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.